How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Matt's Bear Reviews. Back with you another review. Um, yeah, a little bit of Crowler time. A little bit of Kolsch-ish time in the form of District 96 Brewing's Americanish. Um, District 96. Haven't had a ton from these guys. Relative new, new brewery. Haven't got a chance to get it out there yet. I don't get actually to New York City proper all that often. But I've been chomping at the bit to get there. But I was lucky enough to have uh, the owner, John... He uh, reached out and ended up throwing a couple growlers, or crowlers, I should say, my way, so thank you very much. This is one of them. The second one I'm diving into. Don't know anything about it. All I know is what's written on this can. Now, what it's written on it? Kolsch, Americanish, 4.8% alcohol volume, by volume, and that'd be that. Uh, Likewise, it's cool. I mean, you know, it doesn't blow me away, but it's, it's pretty much their thing. They have, like, kind of, like... These uh, clear labels that are all silver, then they have white ones. That seems to be the only difference to their crowlers. Don't know if there's a reason behind the color on the labels, but yeah. But it's an American Kolsch, or it's a Kolsch, 4.8%, uh, but it's called Americanish. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's an Americanish kind of Kolsch? What does that mean to me? An Americanish Kolsch means, it's a good name actually, I've never thought of it before, but it's a really good name. This is going to be a gigantic head, by the way. Um, for a, um, a Kolsch done in this kind of new school American style. By that I mean, a lot of breweries say they love Kolsch's. A lot of breweries say they love making Kolsch's. And I'm not saying that's not the fact. But what they do is, you have a lot of these, especially in the Northeast here, with all these kind of New England style, hazy, kind of brewery stuffs going on. They take Kolsch, which is kind of what this looks like, which is very clear, crisp, refreshing, chuggable beer, and they tweak it so much, it's really not a Kolsch anymore. Sure, you might have started with a Kolsch base, but it's not really a Kolsch anymore. It's dry hop this and jacked up that, but anyway, don't know if that's this beer. If not, whatever. I just need a little story to kind of let that head settle down, because tall glass, crowler, big head. That's what happens. I'm still going to do the proper pour thing, but you know me, I don't do that shit. Anyway, uh, two fingers, Creaminess, but rockiness. I mean, the head was gigantic. You're not going to expect anything less. Um, pretty uniform bubbles once you get to a certain point. And it kind of goes crazy, as you would expect with a pour like that from a weirdo like me. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty damn clear, man. Big, gigantic kind of mesmerizing bubbles. If you can see in there, it's a soft carbonation, and the bubbles are way bigger um, than you typically see in a lot of beers. Why? Well, you know, the carbonation probably expands a little bit bigger because the beer isn't as viscous. That's my idea, but, eh, whatever. Soft, light in color, I mean, it is to a T what a coal should look like. So, yeah. You know, when you pop these from these breweries, and District 96 is known for making their kind of hazy hop four beers, kind of cool to see clear beer like that. Perfectly honest. With you. See if we get a nose on her. This is a coal, baby. This is a coal, which is a soft, kind of light, slightly crackery, kind of Pilsner malt thing. Not getting much as far as any kind of lager yeastiness off of it. Maybe a subtle, subtle dollop of a little bit of that kind of dry funkiness. But other than that, a sweet kind of Pilsner malt, done and done. Soft bittering behind it, just enough to kind of prop up that, that maltiness. That's it. We're going to dive in, because this is going to be a chugger. Cheers. Ah, that's Kolsch, man. That's a Kolsch through and through. And that's a fantastic fucking thing. Listen, I love I, I love Kolsch's. Just as much as the next guy loves Kolsch's. Um, but here's the thing. There is a bit of utilitarianism to them. Um, you know, you can sit there and kind of talk subtlety and nuance. You can a bit. You know, you can have softness of that kind of lager yeast. That little bit of you know, how delicate that Pilsner mold is and how they both play off each other. Maybe even a little bit of soft bitterness from old school kind of hops. Does, depends on what you're looking at, German, Czech, or whatever. But to me, really the shining beacon of a really good Kolsch is it tastes good, clean, and kind of flaw-free. You not have you don't have any of that kind of funky buttery thing. Your DMS, um, you know what I mean? Your, 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 your little bit of kind of diacid all the kind of bullshit that everybody likes to throw out there every now and then. But it's true. I mean, that's where these kind of um, flaws usually kind of rear their mostly ugly heads. But there's none of that going on here. Crisp, clean, 
the malt is the start of the show here. I'm not really getting much bitterness out of this. Cutting off way more Czech than German. Um, a little bit of crackeriness. Just enough bitterness to balance off that sweetness. And that's that. And that's a good fucking thing. I mean, this beer, you have to think too. This is sent to me. He sent me in a box with a couple other crowlers. Travel in UPS, you know what I mean? Only for a day or so. And not super hot weather, but not cold either. So you're talking about, you know, a pretty fragile beer team making that journey and coming out still this crisp and clean. That doesn't suck. Mm. Oh my god, I can drink so much of that. I'm going to. This crowler is not going to last all that long. So yeah, absolutely fantastic version of a traditional style Kolsch. It's not tweaked and weirded and bastardized and thrown in 18 different directions. It's a Kolsch. It's what a Kolsch should be. It's super clean, crisp, and clear, and super drinkable, chuggable, exactly what it's supposed to be. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better Kolsch's I've had as of late yet. Um, just from that point, the cleanliness alone just gets me all kind of hot and bothered. Um, I mean, it's just like, it's water. And I say that in the most positive way. Um, it, it's beer water. It's what you want to drink when you're doing things and not focused on beer. But the beer itself is quite nice itself. Uh, value and availability, don't know. It's brewery only. I assume it's crowlers only. Or something like this, especially how new they are. So... Uh, brewery only, crowler prices, I'm sure they might have them online somewhere, you can check them out. And just say if you like what, well, you like this. If you like chuggers, if you like Kolsch's, if you like your smaller beers, your Pilsner's, Kolsch's, stuff like that. If you like quintessential drinking beers, and if you like well-made, crisp, clean beer, then you'll like this. Because that's what you have going on here. This is textbook, it's perfect, I don't want to say perfect, it's not the thing as a perfect beer. But it's about as banging as you're going to get a Kolsch. Um, as far as just a crisp cleanliness of the style and still be an actual coach without being all weirded out and Americanized and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of threw me for a loop, that whole Americanish thing. I think that was kind of ingrained in my brain and it was going to be a little bit weirded out, but no. Traditional, tasty, and chuggable. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, didn't, anywhere in between, down there are words and stuff and things. Uh, if you want to check this dude out anywhere else on the internets, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped. Yeah, that's four. Uh, you can check me out there. Oh, on the internet, just plug in stuff, and there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice Colshi McColshison right now, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>